hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you how i was able to achieve these curls with no heat and just one product okay so for those of you who are new to my channel um, my hair is currently transitioning from my relaxed hair to my new growth and i'm just going to be doing a length check before we jump into today's video and this is how we are looking I have been trying my hands on some home remedies for hair growth and I will be making another video showing what exactly it is that I have been doing and how the progress has been so far. Okay so I have two bottles here and one has my leave-in conditioner, the Canto leave-in conditioner mixed with water and the other one is just water. So I will be re rehydrating my hair with some water because I just shampooed my hair and it has gone dry a bit and I will be sectioning out um, my parts. For the style i'm going for today now the reason why i mix my cantilever conditioner with some water before i actually spray it onto my hair is because i noticed that whenever i use the lump um conk or concentrated leave-in conditioner i usually get that white residue on my hair and i really do not like it so um to avoid that that is why i go with this process i'm just going to be brushing out the knots with my detangling comb and i'm going to be going with my rat tail comb to um section out the hair into two parts so that i can braid it upwards now the reason why i love this hairstyle is because it is so easy to make and you can literally make it the night before you go out involves just a few steps and just one product how easy is that okay so once i'm done braiding the hair i just tuck it back in into itself to hide the ends of the hair and that is it for the back section of the hair i'll be going over to the front right now and repeat the same process of drenching the entire hair in my front with the leave-in conditioner okay so once that is done i'm just going to be sectioning out a portion of hair that i'll be working with and tuck the rest away and then i'm going to be going in with my detangling brush and i'm going to be brushing out all the knots that are there and this step is very important because when you're taking down the palm rods, you want to make sure that your hair is freeze free. So I'm just going to be rolling the palm rods inwards and I'll be talking on both ends of the palm rods to secure it in place. And this is basically what I'll be doing till the entire hair is rolled up. Okay, so once that is done, I'm just going to be going in with this chiffon scarf to secure the back hand and some of the palm rods on the sides in place so that when I sleep at night, nothing unravels. Okay, so I think I had about 8 to 9 palm rods in my hair. You can definitely do more or less, depends on you. But just know that bigger sections take longer to dry and smaller sections dry faster. Okay, so fast forward to the next morning, the hair is completely dry and I'm just going to be going ahead to unravel the palm rods. Then I'm going to be going in with my Auntie Jackie's Argon Infused Oil and I'm going to be applying about 6 to 7 drops of that onto the curls and what's left on my palm I'm just going to be using it to um, section out small parts of the curls and wind them on my fingers to maintain their curls. I just do this to froth the hair and give it volume. Again, once 
once that is done I'm going to be going in with the argan oil and apply that to my entire scalp from the front to the back okay so once that is done I'll be going in with my eco styling gel and I'm going to be applying that to my edges or what is left of my edges and I'm going to be laying them down another great thing about this hairstyle is that once you notice that it is starting to get frizzy again you can just simply repeat the process again the night before and it will be as good as new okay so this is what the hair is looking like and i am loving it it is versatile it is juicy it is bumpy and it is just one product Hooray, no heat. We are on this journey for a much healthier hair and I am loving it. If you would like a more defined part, you can secure your part with some bobby pins and that will just give the illusion of um, a more defined part. Okay, so the last and final tip that I have is to go in with this comb and just pick your hair up from the roots. Not all the way, but just from the roots. And this just gives you volume. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye, guys.